What's up everyone, today we're gonna to be air frying some yellow perch, but it's not just simply just throwing a fillet of yellow perch into air fryer, I'm actually gonna throw just about the whole thing, including the bones, but uh, it's gonna be very interesting. So let me show you, but before I get over there, yes, you guys are seeing me on camera. I'm using the GoPro uh, 9, so I actually can see myself vlog right there. It makes everything a lot easier. And yeah, guys, you can see my crazy man bun with a freaking chopstick on it because I'm styling out. Uncle Jimmy is styling out. But anyway, let's turn around and let me show you guys my crazy looking yellow perch. All right, guys, look at my yellow perch. See that? It's including bones. Just about the whole fish. I basically peeled my perch out. If you guys haven't watched my video on how to peel your perch, you guys can check it out on the top right hand corner. Uh, but basically, I saw this old guy, he peels his perch uh, while he was freaking on the ice like so quick and I was very impressed. And uh, I know there's a lot of other folks that actually peel certain fish. Like my friend Roger, he runs Cooking and Fishing and um, he creates the most awesome and most delicious looking catch and cook fishing videos. And he peels certain fish like uh, let's say a sea robin and he does freaking amazing stuff with it. So I am gonna actually leave a link in my description below and a card of his video of him cooking that sea robin. But if you guys wanna learn how to peel your perch like this, okay, you guys could do a lot of different cooking uh, this style. I actually did a few for my in-law and she could make some fish stock with yellow perch. But I am gonna fry this whole thing in my favorite air fryer. And I'm gonna use my favorite fish fry Seasoning mix right here, Louisiana fish fry products. Okay, this is in Walmart, so you guys could definitely get it anywhere around you. It's also on Amazon for those who are avoiding the crowd due to COVID-19. So uh, you guys can check a link in the description below if you guys need a link to this product on Amazon. But anyway, it's very simple. We're gonna mix this up really nice onto the fish. And I'll do it off camera because I don't want to get my hand dirty. I'll show you guys how it looks like afterwards. But yeah, you guys can't mess this, uh, this up. You have a fish here, it's wet, it's got to stick to it. Any excess, shake it off. And for here, you got to preheat this, okay? So I'm just going to use their setting. Let's see, it looks like uh, 20 minutes for seafood. Let us start. And uh, definitely don't need the whole 20 minutes. I'm going to preheat it for like uh, five minutes. And sorry for the noise. I know I have the new GoPro 9 and I have the medium mount, so the mic's behind. Hopefully it's not too noisy. But anyway, yeah, let's let's run this for five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this myself. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. We'll throw it in and cook it for about 10 minutes and see how it looks. And it just needs to get golden brown. We'll, we'll keep double checking until it's ready to go. But one thing I wanna let you guys know, cooking this fish with the bones in, it's gonna be freaking juicy. One thing you gotta do is add a little bit of oil. Always add a little bit of oil. You guys probably can't see it, but I got this paper towel, a little bit of oil. Just gonna season the pan. You don't wanna use the pan because uh, depending on the brand of air fryer you have, it may freaking get destroyed. You don't wanna do that. You know, because some of these stuff are like the t spray on Teflon stuff and use the pan. Those stuff is going to be bad. Very, very bad. All right. But anyway, here we go. Ignore my little dirty sink. Let's see if we can fit all three of this in here. Okay. Well, one, two, and um, three. We'll make them all face different ways, shall we? There we go. Look at that. All right, before this thing gets too cold, shove it back in and let it rip. We'll see you guys on the flip side. All right guys, while we're waiting for that thing to fry up, gotta share with you guys my two favorite sauce. If you guys like dipping fish in a sauce, fish nuggets, this is it right here. I don't care if you guys like fried chicken, it does not matter, this thing goes on everything, okay? This sauce goes on everything, this sauce goes on everything. So you put it together, it goes well with everything, all right? so. Thai sweet chili sauce. You guys get this from Walmart, my secondary Asian supermarket, along with the cock sauce, the rooster cock that is, okay? And sriracha, man, woo. This thing is sweet, 
not spicy at all, and then you mix it with the sweet spicy chili sauce. Together, it's freaking banging. My friends from the north, Becca and Todd, they came down to fish some snakeheads with me, and they did their own catch and cook. Now they're frying everything with this Louisiana fish fry, dipping everything they're cooking into these two freaking dipping sauce. It's freaking banging. You guys gotta check out their channels out as well. All right, let's take a sneak peek. Looks like 10 minutes is in. Mmm, looking not bad. Given that we have some freshwater fish here, maybe I can flip this upside out, get it inside here, take a look. I don't think I can focus into that, but uh, yeah, I definitely want to cook a little longer. <laughs> if you guys didn't watch my Instagram, I found some worms in this, so uh, we want to cook it really, really well. Bam, look at that, nice and yellow. All right, all right, let's get this out. Hold up, don't want the wife to kill me for putting something hot on the counter. So we'll put that silicone pad there, but look at that. Looks pretty darn good. I know I didn't, I didn't flip it during the cooking because the air fry should be able to uh, circulate the air properly. So, uh, ooh, look at that. Looks good, looks very good. All right, so we'll put one there. Let's just start with one, all right? We'll eat one on a plate because I have a small plate there. Put this thing back in here just to keep it nice and warm. But let's inspect this. Oh yeah, look at that. Juiciness. All right, gotta risk my hands, cause hot, hot. Oh man, all right, you know what, let's do this. Let me put this here like this. Oh yeah. Ah, smoky hot, and I got chopsticks and I'm not even using it. Did this thing in the sauce. No sauce. Mmm. Freaking good. Freaking good. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's this is what I want to show you guys. Look at this. Juiciness. Super duper juicy. See the water right at the bones area? Oh yeah. This is all the money. That's what you want. It's crispy outside and juicy inside. Look at that sparkle, that gloss. Mm -mm -mm. Now, when you guys eat this, gotta be beware of bones because there's a lot of Y bones, right? Especially when you're breaking it off here. But when you take your time, especially when it cools down, okay, you break it off just like that. I think that's a bone right there. See that? Small little tiny guy, but it's juicy. Mm -mm. I didn't need chopsticks, just eat with my hands. Freaking savage, man. Yeah, 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 Ooh, yeah. Look at that. No, no, I don't want to do that. No, my, my fried stuff. It's okay, it's okay. Jimbo would dip that one, but look at that. Is that a worm? No, they did just veins. But yeah, this is, this could be bang. I don't know about y'all. Stir this thing up just like that. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Very good. Very, very good. Anyway, folks, don't mind me eating because this is too freaking good. See how juicy this bone is? It's glossy. Yo, that was freaking bang. Cooking the whole fish in an air fryer, including bones, will keep the fish so juicy. But if you guys want to try this method of peeling out, uh, peeling back the fish and just cook the whole thing, just beware of those small little bones. Just take your time to eat the fish. And um, yeah, you you guys definitely would enjoy this. So um, I know ice fishing is coming up very soon. A lot of people will be catching them perch. Give it a shot. Leave me a comment below if you guys do try it, how you guys think about this cooking method. I thank you guys for watching. Until next time, the fish don't wait. Get out there, catch some fish, and enjoy them in your kitchen. Yummy in my tummy.